In this tutorial, I'll show you a bit about how we are uh, can import label sets. And when this is important, actually, is if you go into your, say we look at the alignment uh, label sets. These are in our settings tab. So if you bring up the tool space, we've got settings right here. And if you open up and see label sets, and there's only one standard here, um, oftentimes this is the default settings that come into your file. And so if uh, those label sets are not there, then um, I will show you how to bring those in. The way we're going to do this is we're going to go and open a new file. Uh, when we open a new one, it'll ask us um, which file we want to use as our default template. This AutoCAD Silo 3D Imperial is the base one and actually includes all the data sets that we will need for any of the files that will be label sets or anything that we will need for our um, assignments. So in that, once that comes in, you'll see that under the alignment now, if I open this up and look at label sets, you have all, all the extra label sets in here. So what I'm going to do with this file is I'm just gonna, going to go ahead and save as, <clears throat> and I'm going to call it test2. So just save it in any, any default file name. What we're going to do then is we're going to close that one and then we're going to come back to whatever drawing we were in where we want to import those uh, settings. And so once you're in the file that you want to import those into, you again, you can see here on the label sets, I only have a standard currently. So I'm going to go to Manage, and I'm going to import basically the... I'm going to import the Imperial form here and we will open that. Actually the, the easiest way to do this is actually go to wherever you saved that other one. I'm sorry. Where you saved that other one, we'll bring that up. We'll open that one. And currently with the green box selected in all of these, if I go under alignments, alignment styles, all those are to be added. Okay, and these are the ones uh, currently in there. So um, we will set all those. It'll tell us that uh, in this process how many of those will come through. So a whole bunch of styles came through. You know, okay there. Now if you go to label sets, you can see that these are fully populated with all the data sets you'll need. So again, if you need to add data sets to this for um, easily creating kind of your major and minor ticks there, on your line, that's where you do it.